everyone. We begin the readout tonight with what could be. This is actually good. What could be the way out of the pandemic at long last. And the Republican governors who act like they don't ever want it to end. As our nation's health care system is wobbling under a continued assault by the Delta variant and in parts of the country all but collapsing, what, what has been a vaccine push is now becoming a vaccine must with more and more vaccine requirements taking effect, especially now that the Food and Drug Administration granted full approval to Pfizer's vaccine. Today, the Pentagon ordered troops to get their shots as soon as possible. Private businesses are joining in. CVS Health and Disney said they would add or expand requirements for workers. And Delta Airlines said it would raise health care premiums for workers who remain unvaccinated. Add to that schools and universities. More than 800 are requiring students to get COVID vaccinations before returning to campus. Because the reality is the only way to blunt the pandemic is through vaccination. And the only way to stop the misinformation and the ignorance and, frankly, the selfishness of the unvaccinated from prolonging the pandemic for everyone, for the rest of us, is to stop begging and start making it mandatory. Or the truly committed anti-vaxxers could just make like COVID Jonestown and move to Florida or Texas or Freedom Stand, South Dakota, with apologies to the doctors and nurses there. Today, Texas Governor Greg Abbott rolled out a new ban on government vaccine mandates of any kind. His previous one only banned those under emergency authorization. It would seem that despite contracting COVID himself, Abbott is fine letting his citizens get infected and potentially die. Of course, his Republican partner in death, Florida's Ron DeSantis, is also pushing mask and vaccine mandate bans. And then there's South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem, the roaming gnome who's apparently not content to let Abbott and DeSantis fight for the title of most derelict COVID governor. Just over two weeks ago, she welcomed thousands of bikers to her state, on a horse no less, for the Sturgis motorcycle rally, because freedom! But what she, along with Abbott and DeSantis, really mean is freedom to get sick and die. South Dakota has seen a massive surge over the past two weeks. Cases there have nearly quintupled in that time. So Christy Noem has declared war, not on the virus, no, no, but on President Biden over vaccine mandates that he hasn't even actually implemented. She tweeted that she would take every action available under the law to protect South Dakotans from the federal government. Now, wait, does that mean that South Dakotans shouldn't use the highways? Indeed, Christy Noem has staked her political ambitions on being the governor of YOLO when it comes to COVID, despite a middling vaccination rate in her state. Last month, she told the Associated Press she would not step up efforts because her messaging has reached a saturation level. Okay. Joining me now is Dr. Esther Chu, professor at the Center for Policy Research and Emergency Medicine at Oregon Health and Science University, and Charlie Sykes, editor-at-large for The Bulwark and an MSNBC columnist. I, I'm going to start with you, Dr. Chu. A saturation point in messaging. I don't know what that means, but it sounds to me like the governor is saying She's not going to talk anymore about getting vaccinated. Do you think that that, from a medical point of view, is good public policy? Well, it's really painful to hear that from where I stand, because um, like in many other states, we're struggling here to just figure out who we let in next off a very long waiting list for ICU beds that are just running out. And of course, you know, across the country last week, one in five ICUs um, were at 95 percent capacity. Um, this week, one in four ICU beds are at 95 capacity or greater. You know, in Florida, we're seeing ICUs that are at 200 percent capacity, which means nobody is getting the care that they should get in the ICU. So to go from that um, to a governor who is saying things like that, I mean, you're you're neither going to continue urging people, but you're also going to remove the ability of businesses to mandate. Um, that means that you're, I mean, if you're not doing persuasion and you're not doing mandates, then you're yeah. doing nothing to encourage things like vaccination. Well, that's, I think, their plan. Their plan is to do nothing. Uh, it, you know, why do you invite a, a political guy to a segment about health? Because it's all political, right? That's why we've got you here, Charlie, instead of being in one talking about 2022 or something. We have to put you in this segment because for these governors, for, for, you know, the Texas, South Dakota, all these guys, to them, I don't get it, but I wish you would explain it to me. The good politics is let COVID run freely wild through my state and then back it up by having some pop-up clinics where people can get treated. They think that's good politics. Do you agree? 
No. And in fact, I, I do think we have an inflection point now where uh, more and more people are getting disgusted by the, the selfish and the stupid who are refusing to uh, to get vaccinated. Uh, you see this in the public opinion polls. Uh, you see this anecdotally. Um, and, and I agree with you that the private companies that are mandating this will change behavior. But you know, the politics of this is awfully interesting because uh, you, you have the governor of, of you, Governor Abbott in, in Texas, Governor DeSantis in Florida and Governor Nome in, in South Dakota, who are all in thinking that their handling of this is is their ticket to you know political success in 2022 and 2024. Now, as bad as Christy Nome has been, I want to point out that she said today or yesterday that she would not support banning, prohibiting private companies from requiring proof of vaccination, which really highlights in many ways, because she's very MAGA, but that highlights how radical Ron DeSantis is. Yes. <laughs> because Ron DeSantis is out there saying that, that I mean, was, talk about you know conservative small government uh, you know property rights, telling private companies yes. that he is going to bar them from having these policies. And then you had Governor Abbott, mm -hmm. who's doubling down banning these vaccine mandates. And Christy Nome, who's thoroughly deplorable, um, is saying, no, um, that's not in my power as governor. I may not be pushing this. I may be riding around the horse saying freedom, but I am not going to ban these vaccines, uh, these vaccine man the, the, the vaccine requirements yeah. by private companies. So that's an interesting division um, that really kind of shows you what an island Ron DeSantis is on right now.